government of Ontario is adding more protection into our local long-term care homes. I know this has been an item of, of great discussion locally and, um, and we've been speaking at length with our long-term care homes over the past number of, of weeks and months. Uh, the new investment that the Ontario government is making locally into the riding of Northumberland Peterborough South is over $865,000 to help strengthen measures to prevent COVID-19 from entering our long-term care homes and then and our community. We know what happens in our communities happens in our ends up in our long-term care homes, which is why it's so critical that we continue to follow the guidance of our, our public health officials, uh, follow the, the guidance to pr prevent, uh, protect, I should say, against the spread of COVID-19. So locally here in Northumberland, Peterborough South, to support in, uh, in helping prevent against the second wave of COVID-19. Uh, we're investing, as I said, over 865,000 into a number of long-term care homes. You would have all received the list, but quickly Burnbray Gardens, Extended Care Coburg, Extended Care Port Hope, Foster Brook, Golden Plow Lodge, Hope Street Terrace, Maplewood, Pleasant Meadow Manor, Regency Long-Term Care Home, Streamway Villa, and Warkworth Place, uh, to name a few. So I think these investments are incredibly important. And as the government looks to continue to roll out the vaccine plan as soon as we get that supply we're working closely with our local uh, public health units we know that uh, adding rapid testing deploying uh, i think it was uh, as of a few days ago over 158,000 additional rapid tests into long-term care and this money to support with uh, a whole suite of measures of course ppe but also infection prevention control this is critical to protecting our loved ones in long-term care as of course uh, the government uh, works uh, concurrently with a lot of the other systemic issues, staffing, new long-term care homes. And I know many of you have joined me uh, for those announcements as well. Uh, this is a very important announcement. Uh, long-term care homes, as you know, have been the hardest hit of all when we consider the mortality that's occurred in, across uh, Ontario, but also the stress that has happened with the families and the staff and so on. And we can never forget that, uh, unlike hospitals, where we sometimes have to spend a few days, long-term care homes are actually the homes of thousands of elderly Ontarians, and they need to be protected. It's very important uh, both to take whatever measures they need to protect these residents from infection, but also to ensure, and this is key, because I've seen it in different places that I've worked uh, uh, during this pandemic, also to ensure that there are enough people to provide care especially in an outbreak when some staff are off either because of illness and quarantine. We do not want people to be left uh, uh, um, without care or, or, or uh, long-term care homes struggling to provide staffing.